Wow. Hello there. Check this out. We actually have some blue skies up here in Ohio. It's been uh, quite nasty up here with a solid blanket of cloud cover. And uh, we had a lot, a lot of high winds yesterday. Lost power over here and oh my gosh. Don't get me started on that. That power blackout yesterday almost ruined my iMac. My goodness. Yeah, I don't have a UPS backup, battery backup uh, system and I know I should, but I have been doing so much research trying to find the right one. It does make a lot of screeching sounds and that's not a fire hazard and melting components and all this good stuff. It's just, oh my gosh, it's a pain in the ass. And apparently the iMac that I have doesn't need the sine wave like some of the other high-end computers do, but that's according to Mac users, so... That's one plus, but anyway, enough of that stuff. <laughs> Let's get up to this. Now today, we have the sun over here in the southwest sky. It's up 29 degrees above the horizon, but not only that, today is a new moon, which means the, uh, the moon is supposed to be in between the earth and the sun. And the glare of the sun is washing it out, of course, but uh, it's four degrees above the sun, about the 11 o'clock position. And not only that, we have Venus over around the five o'clock position of the sun, and Jupiter's over about the nine o'clock position, Mercury's over about the seven o'clock or so. But that's just a flare up there. We can't see any of them because of the glare of the sun. I mean, I can change this up even to... to darken it up somewhat. Try to cut down on the glare, but we're not going to see anything. And it's really not good to... all those things that look like planets up there aren't planets. It's all reflection and stuff from the camera lens and all the glass elements and stuff inside the camera. Oh, and I forgot to say today is Tuesday, November 7th, I think, 2018. It's now 1.41 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. And we are on the Nikon P1000 at the moment. It's too bright. There, I haven't had a look at the sun, and gosh, I couldn't tell you how long. Maybe a month or so. Well, it looks awful watery up there. So, yeah, I haven't been paying a lot of attention to the sun to know if there were any sunspots up there, and I don't believe that there are. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Look how watery it is. Whoa, baby. Wow, that's insane. Okay, so we're not going to spend a lot of time there. Just want to take a quick look at it. And yes, I'm not u using the approved solar filter, which I do have. I have the glass Orion one and the solar filter film one that I made by hand and but I do prefer the ND filters. I know it's not good for the camera. Well, probably the only clouds out here <laughs> are right by the sun now. Funny that.
looks like. Hmm. Yeah, we can see a rainbow of colors in there. Oh, this is funny. Not a cloud in the sky except right here. <laughs> yeah. So you saw me coming, eh? Gosh, look at the colors over to the left side of it, the blues and the greens and the yellow orange. Oh, those look like harp waves. And the glare just uh, bleeds off into the clouds, making the sun look so much bigger and magnified. When in fact, I'll wait a few seconds before doing this. It's just a speck up there with the uh, filter on. But yeah, we do have that moon up there, real close by to the sun. Venus over to the right, Jupiter over to the left, Mercury to the left, and the moon right above it, but the glare of the sun washes them away. There are some people that have been able to see the planets during the daytime. I've not had a chance to, but yeah, see how that one kind of looked like a planet or a moon or something like that, but but as I tilt the video head, we can move that around. Then, of course, pan it around and make all these things that look like planets uh, journey around where we want them. But. That's funny, that's what the cloud system turned into. A big long tail. Looks a bit unnatural, doesn't it? Yeah, I should have put my muck boots on. Yeah, most of the leaves are down from our trees. And a right pain in the ass uh, picking them up. Then yesterday with that windstorm, my gosh, everything got blown all over the place. Alrighty, it's now 1.52 p.m. Anyway, I'm gonna wish you all a great day and, and a wonderful midweek ahead. I hope the uh, wind noise isn't too bad. So, y'all take care now. I hope to see you soon. Bye now.